Hi testers, I hope you have seen my video on integration of load runner with dry and trace. I just give a, a quick recap. So if you want to integrate your load runner script to dry and trace, go to runtime settings and uh, click on preferences. Under advanced section, just check this box, enable dry and trace monitoring. So if you enable this option and execute your load test, you can see the tagged web requests in your dry and trace dashlets. Now, Dynatrace has come up with their own command line utility to tag your HTTP requests with Dynatrace headers. In this video, we are going to see how to leverage the command line tool so that you can integrate your Lodana script with Dynatrace. To get started, go to github.com slash Dynatrace and just scroll down a little bit and click on Dynatrace Lodana request tagging repository. So right now, there are two releases has been done. So always download the latest release so that you can see all the fixes and the new features. So just scroll down uh, in this main uh, repository page. You can see the help section, how to execute this uh, jar file and what is the command you have to use so that you can convert your Lodana script to uh, Dynatrace header information. So to download the jar file, just click on the releases link. And there are three assets actually. Uh, you can download the source code you can download a source code in tar format and the actual jar file. Just click on this jar file and keep it in your local folder. So for the demonstration purpose, I have created a simple HTTP uh, script with example.com. So right now there is no transactions has been added in the script. I've just created a simple script so that you can understand how to uh, add the direct trace header information in this uh, example.com. So now, Go to your uh, Dynatrace tagging uh, jar file where you have stored and uh, just copy the path and open the command prompt and just paste cd and the full path. So here you have to uh, pass the commands java-jar and dt-loadrunner-request-tagging 1.1.o.jar and space hyphen uh, insert, sorry, uh, just insert and hyphen path. And you have to enter the path of your uh, Lodana script. So not the uh, the main parent uh, folder path, you have to go inside the folder path and copy this and paste it in your command line and just press enter. So now, the Dynatrace uh, will start adding the header information and then it will uh, append the uh, particular uh, C file in the globals.h and then it will uh, display the header information in your request. So now, now go to your uh, view gen and here you can see the header has been added automatically. Add Dynatrace header test. So this has three arguments, PC, web custom request and SI and LSN. And if you go to globals.h, here you can see the actual uh, uh, Dynatrace method. So right now uh, there are three to five, six uh, arguments you can um, configure. One is the TSN. TSN stands for a test step name and LSN stands for a load script name and LTN for a load test name and VU uh, LSN for load script name and LTN for load test name and uh, VU stands for virtual user and PC stands for a page context and SI stands for a source ID. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, create a transaction. So right, just select the uh, request and uh, surround with transaction and uh, enter 01 underscore uh, launch and click on OK. And now I'm going to remove the headers and then I'm going to add it again. So to remove the headers, go to command prompt and just to change the uh, uh, keyword uh, from insert to delete. So now this will delete your uh, uh, Dynatrace header information and it will be uh, uh, go back to your uh, previous uh, stage. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to serve a transaction again because it deleted the transaction and 01 underscore uh, launch again 
and save your script and go to your command prompt and insert it again. So right now you can see there are changes in the arguments. So right now the conversion uh, is going on. Now, now it is completed. Now go back to your uh, script. Here you can see there is a argument TSN has been added and PC and SI and uh, LSN. So like this, this script will work for uh, global start JavaScript as well. So you can, uh, if you have a JavaScript uh, library, uh, JavaScript uh, uh, language uh, in your uh, load on a script, then definitely it will work for uh, JavaScript as well. So if you have any doubts, you can uh, go to this uh, GitHub and then you can read the uh, help section or alternatively, uh, you can do what you can do is you can just uh, type uh, this command Java iPhone jar and then uh, the jar file name. If you enter, it will display the uh, help section so that you can uh, use this uh, in your uh, command line. So I will I will be uh, testing uh, more. Uh, for example, if you want to scan uh, into subdirectories, and uh, if you want to add the um, uh, other uh, arguments or uh, JavaScript as a scripting language, so I'll be keep working on this tool and then uh, uh, I will share my insights. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, so thanks for listening. Have a great day.